so welcome back to the channel guys it is me ad744 so today guys we do my concacaf nations league semi-final predictions and we'll also predict the copa america playoffs so if you're new on here please hit the like button guys hit the subscribe button down below guys as we're covering the international games upcoming the international break so yeah man a lot of games to, a lot of games to start so we're going to start with the first game which got here is united states versus jamaica so for United States, man, I was looking at the roster for United States. It looks pretty strong. We called up the best players. You know, Gio Reyna is back at the team. You know, Christian Pulisic is in the form of his life for Milan. And you can see that I think Greg has finally got the best squad. This might be like the best squad we have called up in a long time, you know. And I think it's a very good squad. I'm very happy with the squad. And I think for United States, the key for them is to do a three-peat. I think if we want to show our dominance as confederation, we have to three-peat the Nations League. And I think we have a very good opportunity to do so. Because... United States has played well. Jamaica, on the other hand, I looked at the roster, and the fact that they didn't call Leon Bailey was surprising to me. I'm not Maybe it was an injury concern. I'm not exactly sure. But if it's not injury-related, it is pretty surprising. Because we know Jamaica is a really talented team. Because they have a lot of good players on the team. You have uh, uh, Michael Antonio, Shamar Nicholson, Damari Gray, Andre Blake. Like, the team is actually pretty stacked when you look at the names. It's just that Jamaica just tend to underperform so much. It's an international aspect. And so it's really difficult to back Jamaica here, you know. And that's why I think for United States, man, I think it's important that we take advantage of this. Because, like I said, I, with all due respect, Jamaica is a good team. But we should be able to beat this Jamaica team. So I'm going to say the United States. I'm going to say they prevail. Um, I'm going to say they're going to prevail 2-0. I think they're going to prevail 2-0. I just think that we're going to give too much to Jamaica. I do think the game will be close at times. But I just think USA's quality, uh, USA's sheer quality as a team should be able to see them through. And I think for Jamaica, I think the best hope for Jamaica is to actually play, uh, because they're going to be obviously playing a counter-attacking system. They're going to try to get in the line and hope the United States defense has a bad game. Because if the United States defense is solid, then I think it's really going to be difficult for Jamaica. Uh, and, you know, but I will say this, though. We need Pulisic to perform because Balogas not really been in good form. Moving on to the next game we got here. It is Panama versus Mexico. This is an interesting one, guys. Panama versus Mexico, because we know how Panama, they still feel agonizing. They still feel frustrated they lost to Mexico in the Gold Cup final. And that was last time I believe the two teams met. And we know how this, we know how Thomas Christensen has done with this team. This team has done a fantastic job. And you can see how Panama is looking as a complete unit. You know, you have some good players. Obviously, uh, Mosquera, the goalkeeper, is pretty good. Then obviously, you got Ismael Diaz, you got Carskilia. Waterman, you know, it, it's a very good, it's a good team, Panama. The issue for Panama, in my opinion, is they tend to concede late goals. And that is what worries me in this kind of match because Mexico haven't really been convincing, guys. Mexico have been still struggling. They have been good under the new coach, um, but that alarm bells rang when they lost 2 0 to Honduras the first leg. Luckily for them, they were able to come from behind, you know, make it 2 all and, you know, one on penalties. But I think for Mexico, man, it is concerning that. They lost to Honduras because we know how bad Honduras have been in these last few years. So I think for Mexico, the key for them is the players have to show up. Like Lazana needs to show up. I think, uh, you know, Santiago Jimenez needs to show up, you know. And I think for Mexico, the key for them is to make sure that uh, they score first. Because I think the longer this stays nil-nil, I think the more Panama can get at this team. I will say this, though, for Panama. Don't take this to penalties because Guillermo Ochoa is a great penalty shot stopper. So... I think for Panama, if they want to win this, they either have to do a 90 or 120 because penalties for me, it's going to be very difficult to win. My prediction, this might surprise you guys, but I'm going to go with Panama to win 1-0. I just feel like for me, Panama is going to cause a surprise here. And I just feel like for Mexico, <clears throat> they're going to struggle to score because that's when Mexico's biggest concern is that they just don't have the, they're just not clinical at all for a goal. So I'm going to say Panama prevails 1-0. I think it's going to be a tight game. I could see this going to... I think I'm going to say Panama wins after extra time. That's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to say 1-0 to Panama after extra time. So that means if my final prediction comes to fruition, that means we would have a USA versus Panama final on, on Sunday. I remember, guys, the matches are taking place Thursday. And then Saturday, we got here is a a Canada versus Trinidad and Tobago. Canada, man. Ooh, they they, they got to do us, man. Canada have to do us after failing to beat Jamaica at home which resulted them elimination <clears throat> of the CONCACAF Nations League quarterfinals. It was a great opportunity, man. And I just think for Canada, their interim coach, they just feel like for me, Canada just, just don't really feel like the same as it used to be, you know. 
But I think John Herdman really had that impact because what made Canada so good was how good they were in the lethal in the counterattack. I think the counterattacking aspect they were very, very good at. And whereas now they're playing so well attacking wise, but defensively they're looking very bad. And that's why <clears throat> that, that, that makes me concerned because we know how good Trinidad and Tobago is. They have some good players, obviously Roy Moore, uh, Jones, Garcia. These are like important players for them. And I just feel like for me, for Trinidad and Tobago, this is a team that's you can't underestimate because this is a team that I believe had topped their group and the CONCACAF Nations League. So, you know, I think for Canada, the important thing is the players have to step up. Like Alfonso Davis needs to step up, John Deva, Carl Lauren, they got to step up, Ida Gukbe, these kind of players. And I just feel like for Canada, man, they just have to way too much quality for Trinidad and Tobago. I just think Canada should be able to get the job done. But I will say this, though. I will say this, though. It wouldn't surprise me if Trinidad and Tobago wins this because of how bad Canada are defensively. But I'm going to go with Canada to win. I'm going to say 3-1. A 3-1 win for Canada. I think this will be a high-scoring game. And I think this will be back and forth. But I think Canada will ultimately prevail with the quality they have up front. At the final, the last game we got here is Costa Rica versus Honduras, man. Costa Rica, man. They, they, This is a team that has to improve. And believe it or not, guys, Caleb Novis is back on the team, which is amazing for them. Then obviously got Joel Campbell that's also there. And we know how good Costa Rica team is, defensively at least. And for Honduras, man, I was hearing reports from my friend on my member stream that a lot of the players that played against Mexico are going to be either be suspended or, or injured. And that's going to be really bad for Honduras. And I just think that loss to uh, uh, Mexico and that fashion really destroyed their hopes. And I think that really made them lose um what is it called like it's just gonna be difficult for them to recover you know and and as the time recording this video honduras haven't even called up the national team squad they haven't even called every other team has you know so i'm assuming that albert at least and lozano will be called up because if those two players aren't called up i just don't see any hope for honduras especially in the attacking aspect and given the fact that novices are now back for the national team because we know how good of a goalkeeper he is despite the fact he's got very very little playing time for uh, PSG. So I think for Costa Rica, man, I'm going to say they triumph this. I'm going to say they do with this one. No way. They're like, they're a team that just knows how to win. Um, And they're, they're like a one nil team. So I think Costa Rica is going to win one nil guys and move on to the Copa America. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know your predictions. Please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.